Hi, I'm Chad with Turf Organics, and does your own look like this? Well, guess what? It's winter, and that's okay. So let's get into the video about what you need to do when you have freeze damage to your St. Augustine turf. Real quick, I wanna thank everyone for their support of the channel. It means the world to me. Uh, unfortunately, YouTube have deemed some of my videos go against their guidelines and have taken down and striked my channel due to them. Uh, these are all long videos. I thought this was the safest videos I could ever make, and my channel would never see anything of censorship, uh, but unfortunately I have, and which is why I have been so demotivated to make these videos. Uh, a lot of the my abilities and freedom on YouTube have been taken when your channel gets striked. So unfortunately, a lot of the work I've put into this channel has been taken back. I have appealed these videos, and they have said they've mainly reviewed them, and they are still uh, deleted, and my channel is still striked. But I really do enjoy making these videos and I know they really help you. So I found the motivation to continue to make these videos because it's something I'm really passionate about and seeing how much I help you, I can help you guys with your lawn means the world to me. So I wanna to try to continue to make videos. Sorry for the small rant, let's get right into the video. In the winter time, seeing your lawn brown or discolored, patchiness green, patchy brown is totally normal for winter time. But when we get hard freezes under 30 degrees Fahrenheit, it can cause temporary stress and damage to the turf and even sometimes permanent damage. After a good freeze, the lawn will appear wilted and dry and even brown in color sometimes. In some of the worst areas, the dead grass may mat to the ground and start to smell very putrid when it's wet. And with all that being said, that is normal for winter and frost damage to happen. Now, because the grass is wilted and dry, does not mean it means water. The lawn is not dry, it's burnt. Watering more now in the winter time will do absolutely nothing but possibly cause more fungus. Continue to water on your normally winter watering schedule, which is usually once a week. Once the springtime comes, depending when that is in your area, that may be when you need to water a little bit more to help the lawn recover. But doing it now will do nothing. And one of the biggest things is do not, I mean do not fertilize the lawn. If you do want to apply anything, you always welcome to use potassium in the winter time. Now that's not something you have to do before or after a freeze. That would be the nutrients you can give your lawn in the winter time, which focuses on root development. But the more important thing is not to apply nitrogen or any growth promoting nutrients. The lawn looks bad now, and I know, but I promise this is all part of the process. This is the time of year for your lawn to rest, and please give it the rest it needs because our summers are hot, wet, and humid. Once spring comes around the corner, you can fertilize your lawn as needed, and you'll grow out that damaged turf to get your lawn back to the way it was before the winter time came. Another really important thing is do not rake out the dead grass. Because what that will do is that'll protect the live runners underneath. Remember, our St. Augustine grows more like a vine than most other grasses. The runners grow across the top of the soil and shoot the grass blades up. So what you have is when you have all that brown grass, those runners are still live and green underneath. Hopefully, in the springtime, you'll find out if they're not. But what that dead grass is, is that insulates those live runners. So it'll protect them from any more cold temperatures coming. So if you rake that out and leave that area bare and another cold front comes through, those now live runners that were going to bring your lawn back in the spring will die. So now you're resodding in the springtime just because you wanted to rake up some dead grass because you thought it was doing the right thing or you thought it would look better. Do not rake out the dead grass. You're more than welcome to do so in the springtime. Usually it's not needed. But again, if you do rake out dead grass, always fill it with soil immediately. A lot of people are probably wondering, how do I know if my grass will come back? The best thing to do is wait for springtime. Keep as much traffic off the lawn as possible. And when springtime comes back, give your lawn proper spring fertilizer application and then wait a good month for the results. You'll see what areas will start to come back and respond, but do not fertilize too early. Please make sure you wait for the proper timing in your area. April in Florida is a good time to wait, especially if you're in North Florida like us. South Florida can get away with it earlier, but by waiting till April, you can guarantee yourself that no more cold fronts are going to be coming through and you won't do damage by fertilizing the lawn. Now let's do a quick overview of the best thing you can do when you have freeze damage in your St. Augustine lawn. And that is nothing. That's right, Jerry Springer, the results are in and you are not responsible for raking out all the dead grass in your lawn. You are not responsible for watering your lawn more. You are not responsible for fertilizing your lawn after frost or freeze damage. Let the lawn rest. 
mow as least as possible. Just continue to water once a week and do not fertilize until this growing time comes back. And again, just let the lawn rest. Now we'll go to a quick tip on what to do before a freeze or frost comes. Now, a lot of people don't understand this, but it's harder for things to freeze when they're wet. When things are wet, they have a lower freezing temperature. So when you know a frost or freeze is coming, you want the soil of the soil of your lawn and the soil of all your plants in pots or not to be wet. Because what's gonna happen is that way it'll avoid the ground from freezing and protect the roots. Now you don't want the grass blades or the leaf blades to be wet when it freezes. That can do damage. You want the soil to be wet because that'll protect the roots. You'll still get your topical burn of the leaves, but as long as the roots are okay, your plant or lawn will always recover. So remember, things are harder to freeze when they are wet. Keep soils wet before I freeze. I apologize for my hiatus from YouTube. I've been very busy and with YouTube striking down my channel, uh, I've been really demotivated to make videos. This is something I really love to do and I found myself very much missing it in the time I was gone. Uh, I felt really like something was missing out of my life and that's odd to say just by making videos, but I really enjoy commenting and interacting with you on the channel and, and making these videos and seeing the positive results. I, I apologize for uh, my, my lack of videos. I'm Chad with Turf Organics and everybody have a great rest of your day.